Hello, this is Bucket Yaro, also known as Lorx42 on dev.bucket.org. I wanted to make this video to show you some of the new features in the newest release of Movecraft, including cruise control, fuel consumption, and syncing. Uh, be aware, if this is an upgrade, you do need to manually extract language files from your .jar and put them in your plugins localization folder. Uh, it's, it talks about that on the website. Uh, anyway, uh, so we're going to demonstrate these features using a submarine and torpedo system. Uh, we're going to be sinking a ship. It's going to be tons of fun. Uh, here we have the crafts file for the submarine. This, uh, um, the first thing to look at is these allowed blocks. If it sees these blocks, then they it will make them part of the craft. Uh, and then you have the forbidden blocks. If it sees that adjacent to your craft, it will not allow you to form it. So it acts as a lock. The next thing that we want to look at is can fly. Uh, so this is a submarine. We will set can fly to false. Uh, this is a bit of a misnomer. Can fly does not actually prevent the craft from flying. Rather, it controls whether or not it is allowed to move through water. If it is set to false, then it can move through water. If it is set to true, then water will block the craft. Whether or not it can actually fly is more accurately controlled by the height limits. Uh, so min height limit, max height limit, uh, which is the lowest it can go, and the highest any block of the craft can go. Uh, max height limit in this case, uh, we're going to set to just above the uh, water level in Minecraft. The water level in Minecraft is 62. So we set it to 67 to allow the conning tower of the submarine to stick up out of the water. Um, Min height, we're going to leave it 10. I could just remove it, uh, but I'll, I'll leave it in there. Okay, um, now the next thing we want to talk about is the fuel burning rate. Uh, so you can now f uh, consume fuel. It looks on the ship for a furnace. If it finds a furnace and you have set a fuel burn rate, then it will burn fuel out of that furnace at a rate uh, that corresponds to how much, how many items you could smelt from the corresponding fuel. So if that makes any sense, basically a piece of coal will allow your ship to move eight times with a fuel burn rate of 1.0. You could have a higher fuel burn rate and burn more fuel. You could have a lower burn rate and burn less fuel. You could have 0.5, that's perfectly acceptable. 0 0.5 is what you'd have to put. Um, and if you can use a block of coal, then uh, you can move 80 times off of that. So it is a little more efficient. C can cruise. If you set this to true, it allows you to put a sign on your craft. Uh, if you right-click that sign, it starts moving forward, and it keeps trying to move forward. It may or may not succeed, depending on something blocking it, or you run out of fuel, something like that. Um, the distance that it will move is determined by the cruise skip blocks. So there's cruise skip blocks of four, it will move a total of five blocks because it skipped four of them, if that makes sense. Be aware there's no collision detection for the skipped blocks. So if you set this number too high, you may have crafts moving through walls. The speed. Uh, so I like to set the speed on uh, kind of uh, ungainly uh, crafts, uh, unmaneuverable crafts to the 0 0.5 or some other low number so that when you are trying to move side to side or in reverse, it goes very slowly. Uh, if you want to move forward, you use cruise for that, and it goes much more quickly. Uh, so that represents crafts that are not very maneuverable. Uh, well, like a submarine, <laughs> which is why this is set to 0.5 right here. One quick note. Um, in the downloaded version, you will have compatibility mode set to true. I've set it to false uh, for a little bit more performance, and I recommend you do that too if you're running 1.6.4. All right, anyway, uh, so now we're going to build an actual submarine. I'm gonna go out into the shallows here and build what could possibly be the simplest submarine it is possible to build in Movecraft, a simple iron platform, and, and then another platform above it. Uh, so, the way the engine recognizes a space within the submarine uh, is by there must be a roof and a ceiling. If there's a block below and a block above a piece of air, it will keep that air and, and move it with the ship. Um, now, <laughs> I don't recommend you build submarines that way, obviously. Uh, you know, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't look very good, for one thing. Also, uh, it's, it's not very uh, uh, 
safe, as, as you'll see when I actually kind of build this. Okay, let's put in the piloting sign here, which name is Summarine, okay. Uh, and then I'll put in, a, well, I was gonna put on a helm. There's no sense in having a helm. You can't turn this, or at least there's no difference in facing one way or another. So instead I'll put in a cruise control if I can spell it right, there we go. It does have to be spelled exactly like that. Cruise colon off. All right, uh, then we need a fuel source uh, so because I've set submarines to require fuel. So we're going to put some coal in this furnace. That's our fuel source. Okay, now let's command this thing. Let's uh, move it out into the water here. Uh, let's see, I can't submerge here, so we'll just move it uh, over there. Okay, keep moving it. You'll know it's going very slowly because I have set this to a speed of 0.5, which means it can only move every other second. You can see I've sort of underwater now, um, and it has displaced the water and replaced it with air. Um, you'll note it hasn't flooded yet, <laughs> and that's just because the Minecraft engine itself has not yet realized that it should be filling this with water. Okay, it's not letting me move down because there's sand beneath me, so I'll move out just a little deeper. Okay, and move down, and one more. There we go. I am now completely underwater. And look, you can see that it has actually started to flood my my little ship here uh, because the uh, uh, the the Minecraft engine just happened to 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 decide that it should put in some water right now. Um, so that's why you want to have walls. Walls are important. Uh, okay, all right, so let's leave this thing. Oh, wait, one more thing. I didn't actually show you the cruise control. So, okay, here we are. There's the cruise sign. I'm going to right-click it, and it will burn fuel out of that furnace. Okay, on, and here we go. Oh, hey, look, we're moving. Uh, note, it always moves in the direction the cruise sign is facing, or, uh, put another way, behind the cruise sign, so that, yeah, well, you can see how it moved. It moved forward. <laughs> Uh, so the placement of your cruise sign is incredibly important. Don't put it on a, on a side wall, or your craft will move sideways. That's no good. All right, so this is a very ugly submarine. Not a very effective one. Keeps flooding, but I just wanted to show you how the engine works. Now, let's work with a uh, better submarine, one I built earlier. Uh, it's a very it's it's a small design. It's about the, the same size as... Uh, uh, for all you history buffs out there, uh, the World War II uh, Japanese minute, uh, midget subs is how big this is. Um, there's a torpedo in the front. Anyway, uh, except <laughs> I suspect the midget subs were far more cramped than this one is. Uh, we'll go ahead here. Uh, let's see. You can see the torpedoes there in the front. We'll talk more about those later. Um, just... Take a look, make sure that I've set this up right. Yeah, it looks right. Okay, all right. Go back over here. Uh, I've got all. I've got the furnace with the fuel loaded into it, ready to go. All of the navigation controls are on the back of the ship. There's the command sign, and then the helm to turn the ship, and the. Uh, uh, you know, I know I've never actually shown you how to create that helm sign, so let me show you how you do that. You just type in helm as it uh, as it's listed there. Right click on it, and it turns into what is supposed to be a ship's wheel. Uh, all right. Now, uh, I need to move away from the dock uh, in order to turn my ship around. So, I have taken command of the ship. I'll go up on top, uh, just like an actual submarine. If you want to see what's going on around you, it's a lot better to do it from up on deck. You can actually see. So I'm going to move away from the dock. You'll note I'm moving very slowly because it's only allowing to move it for two seconds, uh, again, to represent that poor maneuverability uh, when not moving straight forward. All right, uh, that, that should just about do it. I should be able to turn the ship now. So I'm going to go back down below deck, go back to my helm sign, and I'm just going to turn this thing around. Yep, got no errors, so I must not have been blocked by the dock. All right. Now I'm ready to move out to sea. Just want to take a look, make sure that I'm clear of the dock. Yeah, I definitely am. Okay, no problem. Close the hatch here. There we go. All right.
So a couple quick notes. Um, the Minecraft oceans right now are quite shallow. So really, if you want to be effective as a submarine, it's got to be a small submarine like this one. I'd love to make a bigger one with some better tor torpedo tubes, maybe a good uh, airlock system for the tubes, but it just doesn't fit these days. Hopefully, next version will be better. Okay, let me stop. Let me go back up on deck. And we can see, yeah, okay, we've moved a good distance away from that dock now. Now, of course, as a submarine commander, I don't like being out in the open like this, so I'm going to dive uh, so that nobody spots me down here and I can sneak up on my prey. All right, now I can I see those water droplets. You'd think that would be a little unnerving to a uh, submarine submariner. I see water dripping in through the hull. Not a good sign. But anyway, okay, so I look up and I see, yes, there is water above me, so clearly I am completely submerged at this point. And, and hopefully safe from the prying eyes of my enemies. All right, so now, if I'm going to show you this new sinking mechanic, obviously I need something to sink. Fortunately for me, as luck would have it, right over here is a ship. It's a beautiful ship. I'd love to take credit for building it. I did not. I downloaded it from a schematic site. Uh, but, you know, uh, it's a lovely, it's going to make a lovely wreck on the ocean floor. Okay, uh, quick note, you cannot sink just a bunch of blocks. Right now, this ship is just a bunch of blocks. It has to be turned into a craft first, which means someone has to be piloting it. So, Minion, you're going to pilot this ship for me, all right? Okay. And we shall leave our brave minion to command his ship and return to our submarine. There it is. Okay, let me get back on board. So, piloting a submarine. Uh, it really is... Let's see, you're not a surface ship. You can't just pound it out with uh, with the other guys. For one thing, you're too small. You're probably not as well armed as a surface ship might be. So stealth is the key. And it is also a game of patience. Uh, really, the most effective method of attack for a submarine is to lay in wait, uh, know where your enemies are going, wait for them, hidden under the water, surface and then blow them away. Uh, people have this uh, image in their mind of submarines launching torpedoes from underwater and things like that. That's just not the way it happened. Uh, the, the best way to do it was always from the surface, where you could uh, see what was going on, react better, and get your shots to hit. Okay, there's the, sub the ship, my prey, up ahead. Uh, now, the way the sinking works is I have to destroy a high enough percentage of their blocks that are listed as fly blocks such that they can no longer fly. The percentage I need to destroy is controlled by the sink percent in the craft file. In this case, it's wood. Wood is what keeps that ship afloat, and so it is wood that I will have to destroy to sink it. All right, the way the torpedoes work, I right-click that to take command of the torpedo. I right-click that to put the TNT out to arm the torpedo. And I right-click that to launch it. So you must right-click three different things. Okay, and we have to be on the surface to fire these. You could make torpedoes that could be launched from underwater, but they would be larger and would not fit on this small submarine. So we're, these have to be fired on the surface. I just go up till I hit the limit. There we go, I'm at it. The target looks good. I see wood ahead of me, so I will fire. Take command, out the TNT, and launch. Okay, I can see the torpedo went over there. Boom! Put a nice hole in the wall. I can see straight into the interior of the ship, but it's not sinking yet. So we fire again. Take the second torpedo, arm it, launch it. And... Boom! I think it went straight through. Yep, I can see all the way through, and she is sinking. Down she goes. Sorry, minion. Oops, I just put a hole through the side of my ship. Brilliant! This is why you should not be commanding a ship in, um, in creative mode. Anyway, um, you'll note, now I have water coming in. This will happen. Um, it would be nice to have a, an, an elaborate torpedo launching system with maybe some pistons acting as an airlock 
but it's just it won't fit uh, so that that's why I have that yeah anyway uh, and there goes the ship you can see it's reaching bottom right now oh, and minion has died he drowned poor minion all right and I still have one torpedo left with which I can go and find more victims so let me just patch up this hole and let the water drain and I'll go take command of my ship again and have fun thank you for watching